I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeVille. <laughs> what it do, Jazzy Booze? It's Jackie and Jazz that's here. And if you are already a subscriber, you already know what it is. If this is your first time seeing this lovely face. <laughs> A little different today. Yeah, I took one time today. <laughs> if this is your first time seeing my lovely face, then you can go ahead and kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Hit the like and subscribe because it's free. It's going to always be free. So you can go ahead and click. Do what you do. Join the fam. <clears throat> Come on. I scoot over. You can sit down. Don't look back there. I know it looking hectic in here, but today is shipping day. And I, I know I said I was going to move them, but I ain't ready yet. I got to take all that stuff out today and go um, move these things. Well, y'all coming to help me? Okay, that's what I thought. So, uh, don't need me looking back there. Right here. That's what you be, should be paying attention to. Being all nosy. But today's video is going to be on... I don't know. What, how should I say? Catering to people and I'm, I say people because they're not customers most of them have never bought anything from you and probably not gonna buy anything anyway I hold that I hold what I got until I get to that with uh, catering to people and copycats if you don't know what that means okay it's when you copy another business on what they are selling when you have no niche for it you just see okay they doing good so you say oh let me get some <laughs> and sell them yeah that's called copycat but um okay let me start off by saying this you do not cater to people whatever your niche is whatever you are selling you sell what you sell and let it be that because um, if they're looking for something, they're going to find it. And most people shop on impulse, so they're not going to wait two months for you to get it in stock and everything or whatever. After they ask you, okay, do you got it? And you say, oh, I'm going to get it type thing. And then when you get it, there's no way to be found. Or they already purchased because they wanted it right then and there. Okay, yeah, you might do some polls in your stories or whatever platform, whatever. But most people don't even respond to the polls. Sometimes the people that respond to the polls, they have no intentions of buying anything. So now you're stuck with product that you catered to other people thinking, okay, oh, a lot of people want this, whatever. Let me get this. I mean, it may be a little different if the people that are suggesting this stuff is like a repeat customers and they always shop with you type thing. Then on that note, you get a couple of them and, you know, if you want to keep your customers happy like that, okay to each his own or whatever but I don't do the catering thing because you're going to be stuck with product and end up putting it on buy one get one free or half off or you losing money because okay nobody really wanted that product anyway it was just one person that asked you oh sis can you get this or whatever and you say oh, okay I'm going to get them then you look for it you pay for it you get the product in and now you can't push it because nobody really wanted it because that ain't even what you were supposed to be selling anyway sis a uh, bro so do not cater to people and like I said I say people because they're not customers they may be potential customers but okay potential ain't paying no bills <laughs> potential ain't got popping ain't nothing popping with potential okay so stop catering to customers when you're getting inventory for your shop boutique or whatever you may you know be selling from because that ain't going to help nobody and it's going to always, mostly always end up hurting you and you losing money having to mark stuff down because you can't get rid of it. Pretty much giving it away for free. Okay, boom. So next, let me hop on the copycat. Pretty much goes in, I guess, the same category because a lot of businesses or whatever I see businesses doing good and then they try to go and sell the same thing if not you know something similar but uh sweetheart that wasn't your niche like your customers are not their customers you don't know what they done put in their posts well you might be following them or whatever trying to you know steal their drip or whatever <laughs> steal their drip or whatever but um how's the saying go uh somebody can give you the recipe but the sauce ain't gonna be the same I'm being nosy looking at my notification. 
but the sauce ain't gonna be the same. Find what you are selling, your niche. Do what you do. Stop, don't copy somebody else because everybody's story ain't the same. You ain't gonna never do something like the next person do. Like me, I can sell whatever I want. I'm not gonna copy somebody selling something because I can sell what I want, but ain't nobody gonna sell it like Jackie, okay? I mean, yeah, we can sell the same product, but okay, just because you see me selling something good or whatever, uh, you are not me. What I eat don't make you shit, and vice versa. So, yeah, because I see a whole lot of that going on, and then, okay, you end up, same same thing, giving it, pretty much giving it away. Uh, I see the buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off, or, you know, half off. You losing out money because you're thinking that you're gonna your performance sales and everything are gonna be the same as what you seeing or what you copying off of it don't work like that it don't work like that so do not do the copycat thing sell what you gonna sell what uh, what you um what audience that you're catering to or whatever you do that just because you see this come through your timeline you be like oh look so they doing good let me order some of them and then you wonder why it's not selling. It's not selling because you weren't supposed to be selling in the first place. You just say, okay, let me copy this or whatever. And you ordered the uh, inventory. <laughs> and now you can't push it. Joke's on you, sis or bro. Be you. Because only you can do it best. I say it all the time. And I don't just say it. I live it. I do what Jackie do. I don't care about what nobody else doing. I really don't care like a video that I'm gonna do coming up is gonna be on okay followers cuz I oh my goodness I see so many people that focused on followers I see people with day gone whoo thousands of followers but don't really get no sales I don't really have no followers but my sales be popping because I don't pay attention pay attention I don't pay attention to followers that's not my main thing because hell I can have a million people follow me but who <laughs> who who's spending some coins hmm who's spending some coins and it's a whole lot of people that's following that that's all they doing is following looking for numbers follow for follow no I got video coming up on that too I don't do follow for follow I don't do Okay, shout out for shout. I don't do none of that for something or whatever. If I shout you out, it's because I really wanted to shout you out. Or I bought something from you or you, I see you doing damn good type thing. And I just want to, you know, do it type thing. And me, 9 out of 10 times, I might not tag you in it because, what, just so you can, no, I don't, oh, I hate that. I hate when people do something and record it and stuff like that and tell everybody, that, okay, they did it or whatever. If I shout you out, it's because I want to. Not to get your attention, not to say, oh, I shouted you out type thing. So I may shout you out and don't even tag. You don't even know I shout you out, but I, I know that's all that matters. But, okay, that's pretty much what I want to touch bases on in this video as far as, okay, the copycat and the catering. Because I see a whole lot of people losing money by doing those two things. And, uh... It may look like, oh, yeah, I got them for cheap, whatever. But when it adds up, inventory ain't damn cheap. And I'm speaking from experience. Because, hell, everything I'm talking, I speak from experience. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to be talking out the side of my damn neck to y'all. Anybody that follows me or look at my videos know that, okay, I'm straight, no chasing. I'm not going to tell you something that I haven't been through. I don't know for sure. And if I do, I come back. I come back and I say, okay, no, 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 no. I found out some more information, but that was only one time. That's recently when I said, and I didn't even do nothing. I ain't tell you to delete nothing. <laughs> but I came back because I realized what I said. And I was like, I don't want anybody to think that I said delete your video. So I'm going to do a video so I can, you know, settle that and fix that. But okay, I didn't do anything wrong. I just, that's just me and my conscience or whatever. Because I wouldn't want you to do anything off of my word or whatever. Like I said, don't delete any videos. And if you missed that video, that's the video before this one. So um, you can go and check that out. Yes. So uh, what else? Let me look at my paper right here. <laughs> oh, 
let me tell y'all about some new products that um ooh, <laughs> that I have um coming up. Well, the body bands they'll be available well, by the time I they're already available for purchase, but they'll ship on next Monday. Yeah, next Monday. Um, and I'll do a tutorial on putting it on and everything. It's my supplier is the same person that made my um fit fit waist trainers with the the scrap on it. The same supplier, my same supplier made my body bands or whatever so I know the material and everything. Yep. <laughs> it went dead. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm gonna clean out this thing so I can have some store. So I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up this video before it cut off again. But um what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Okay, but yeah, the body bands they'll be available. Um, they're available, but the they'll ship on next Monday. And I have a new product coming in. It's the microblading um liner for the brows, which that's what I did with my brows. You know, I use my ugh, that's what I use for my brows today. And I was I'm gonna do a video or whatever instructional video or tutorial, whatever you wanna call it or whatever. But these will be available. Um, in two weeks, yeah, but I'll keep you posted or whatever, but they're, um, the microblading eyebrow liners, and these have been restocked, this is the LV bling round brooch, and you can stick them on whatever to bring your little outfits alive or whatever, and I have the matching earrings, the matching studs. But anyway, I can't get this light and everything or whatever. But before this thing cut off again, thank you for watching the video. <laughs> Stay tuned for more videos. And you didn't like this video yet? Boy, I swear they don't make them like they used to. They sure don't. Anywho, remember to be you. Because only you can do it best. <laughs>